Ghana's tourism is big. Ghana's the new Toronto. You know what we say, the new Toronto. I spent five years in Toronto. Toronto, Ghana is the new Toronto. Toronto is where the whole world meets in one place. And that's what Ghana is now. Everybody's moving there. Okay, and I'm just talking about Accra. I haven't been to Kumasi, where all the gold and everything is. They have really an intelligent mind who understand what the Reverend Father and the TikTok girl are trying to say. Ah, yeah. If you must go out there on behalf of other people to represent them with your words, video, with your speech, with your thought, with your opinion. And you're not going with your papa name alone. You're going with the entire nation. You have to do it with good mannerism or don't do it. To get it, this is what I'm talking about. So if, hi, welcome back and thank you for clicking. If you're new to my YouTube channel, you're welcome. My name is Lillian. And in this video, I want to react to this video by Kemi Omololu Oluloyo, a Nigerian journalist. Kemi has helped to me to get a typical example of what i'm talking about when you want to address other people in that video kemi is giving advice to the ghanaian government see my reason for reacting to this video is not because of what kemi has to say to the ghanaian government or to ghanaians or about ghana as a as a country it is because of the way she said it that is why i'm reacting this is how you should say something about other people if you must do it on my behalf as a nigerian if you must come in the name of nigeria to talk about other people do it like this or don't do it you get it Temi has got a lot of things to say to the Ghanaian government and i'm wondering why is this video not trending i mean only bad news to sell because this lady passed the message eloquently without at any point trying to belittle anyone mm -hmm. so this is going to help me get back to some of the videos i've been making in in recent past where i still condemn and i'm still condemning anyone coming out to say something about anybody or myself even though you have an incredible message to pass about me or about people i care about or about any nation on heads if you cannot put it like this don't say it i'm not saying you must sound eloquently like kemi but i mean your mannerism while at it while you are trying to make that point because in those videos a lot of people want me to believe that i'm dumb because the reverend father and the tiktok girl were actually trying to talk about the economy of ghana and how it has boomed over the years I don't care. What I care about is how you take talk up. If you must describe me to people, you must talk about my inspiring life. Maybe I've anyway inspired you by my ungiving up spirit. If you must talk about me to people, to use me to inspire them or to encourage them or to shame them, you got to be good at it. Don't at any point try to belittle me for you to be able to make your points even if at the end of the day the point you want to make is you showing me the secrets of dangote's wealth or telling me the day that christ is coming so i can be i can be fully prepared or you're trying to tell me the biggest invention that no one else is aware of you want me to do it and become great you must be at your best manners while at it or keep it to yourself get it what kemi has to say like this or don't see it now listen to this video by kemi omolulu oluloyo and i'm wondering why is this video not trending listen first hi i'm dr kemi the great journalist of nigeria it's december 8th 2023 let's talk about what the imf told the Ghanaian government okay many of you know that in ghana they literally have no factories the Ghanaians are living on imports if you go to an average Ghanaian supermarket, everything's imported. All the goodies are there. However, some people can't afford it. Many cannot afford those things. So while I was in Ghana earlier this year, I went a couple of times and I did an undercover investigation, kind of like a social experiment, looking at different stores, Malcolm supermarkets, um, Palace Mall, different places. They had a lot of foreign items. And now the Ghanaian government wants to put a cap on imports. In other words, like a little restriction. 
this is not the full video but i'm going to just shorten it and you can go to her channel and see the full video okay ghana's tourism is big ghana's the new toronto you know what we say the new toronto i spent five years in toronto toronto ghana is the new toronto toronto is where the whole world meets in one place and that's what ghana is now. everybody's moving there okay and i'm just talking about accra i haven't been to kumasi where all the gold and everything is they have gold nuggets hold on hold on apart from apart from the fact that i am blushing and i'm 100 percent in agreement with kemi you know for the points of some of these points especially i don't have just played because this ones i know what she's talking about the other ones she's kemi is very intelligent you know so i don't know a lot of these things that she knows why this video is is because of the mannerism kemi used to make her points without at any point try to say honoring is honoring that to get it so if you must talk about people in my name or on my behalf you're coming with my passport to give your opinion about other people please i'm begging you if you want to give your opinion about other people on my behalf do it the right way don't at any point try to belittle them because you want to make a point is a no that point you want to make is not important you get it so this is what i'm talking about here i am wondering why is this video not trending yeah why why is it not trending why are people not talking about this because we are talking about the other ones because they are trending who they help those videos to trend why the person no go share this chemi on make it trend if possible make it surpass the other one you see what i'm talking about if you like keep saying that i hate my country i don't care but god knows the truth what i'm talking about here so and for those telling me don't take it personal i'm not taking it personal but see when i go to the embassy to apply for visa to go to a certain country or to any country in the west or, or when i travel basically as a tourist from nigeria you are not there when i feel emotional when i'm torn down when these visas are when i apply for a visa and i get torn down you are not there you are not there because i feel emotional isn't that even emotional that is emotional now. Hmm? i feel i take it very personally it hurts me yes so when people are causing problem on my on my behalf and you expect me to smile about it and joke about it no sir i will not joke about it so if you at any point have something to say about any country in my name on my behalf as a nigerian and you know use your own part of nigeria you know use your tribe if you can't put it like this then don't put it kemi is a very intelligent journalist it's not everything i agree with her okay on a lot of the times currently she has blocked me on instagram she won't block me again okay but i know how she have blocked me i think this is the second time kemi has oh no this is the third time <laughs> this is actually the third time kemi has blocked me on instagram because there are things that she brings out and i don't like it because i feel bad for the people she's talking about i feel like she's bullying these people so i don't agree with her and i go fighting for these people that don't even know my name they don't know my existence they don't know i exist i fight for them because that is who i am and because of that kemi has blocked me and this is the third time this is the third time she has blocked me one i'm going to try my best to um, to not give my opinion again on her post when she's talking about other people to avoid her blocking me because right now right now i miss her page on instagram i miss her page on instagram and that is why i went on youtube to follow her because on youtube i'm going to control myself and she won't block me even if she blocks me on youtube i'm still gonna see the videos because see kemi is very intelligent okay like i said she's very very intelligent and many of the things she used to say are facts many not all but because of how she used to victimize her victims you know because you have issues before uh -huh, this is where i usually have issues with her mm. why are people not sharing this particular video of kemi omolulu is what i don't know because it's obvious that a lot of people were enjoying the video of a reverend father and the tiktok girl it was it sparked a lot of reaction different 
uh, those ones spark different reactions some people are happy with it some are not and then people just share it and it went vara and it got to my table and i i cook it and garnish it and serve it as it is how i understand it those trying to make me feel like i'm dumb because i don't understand uh, someone even said only an intelligent mind will understand what the reverend father and the tiktok girl are trying to say ah, yes they want to say that ghana economy has become something that other african countries need to study mm -hmm, i agree with them they want to say that okay now look at ghana they had you know a struggle in the past now they have suddenly find solution to the economy to the problem of the country they have suddenly been able to make a way i mean they have found solution to their economy and they have become one of the most respected countries in africa right that's what they were trying to say yeah but the mannerism the mannerism when we see okay fine let me give you an example who am i going to use now okay i love yvonne nelson for instance and genevieve naji i love these two ladies okay fine now let me describe them what am i going to say uh -huh. let me just i can't use this word on these women i cannot i can't even use it on anyone so what i'm talking about here is if you must make a point about other people on my behalf because you are going there to do it as a nigerian make it a consider us the, the rest of us that will never for any reason do that consider us consider us for me there's no how i would do it that some people will be fine they are still going to complain they will they will cry no matter how much i explain it some people still come here and cry blood and they will not watch the video they will just see the title and the thumbnail and just go crying cry at the comment section that is fine for me now i've developed a skin that is thick enough for me to stand with the truth and that truth is my chill to get it the truth is my chill it shall protect me both in your heads when you see me you will show me love you see so this is what i'm talking about if you must go out there on behalf of other people to represent them with your words with your video with your speech with your thought with your opinion and you're not going with your papa name alone you're going with the entire nation you have to do it with good mannerism or don't do it to get it this is what i'm talking about so if you want to see the full video you can go to kemi's page and take a look at it and see how she put it maybe you forward it to the right authorities because kemi was giving advice to the ghanaian government and she has a lot of incredible things to say about in that video that makes sense but because i know little to nothing about the economy of my host country there's really nothing i can say but i'll i i am going to tag kemi in this post so that you can go to her channel and see the video that made me to sit down looking all pretty to talk about okay so for those tagging me a tribalist i am not a tribalist mm -hmm. i am not i'm just a nigerian who has accumulated so much who is a nigerian who has gone through a lot in the hands of all that we are all going through as a country and then trying to run away from that that reality then going out there and people because of other people's behavior it has become a blockage to my own life to my own progress this is where i have a problem i'm not a tribalist besides i'm not a yoruba person i'm not outside i'm not Igbo. i'm not even from any of the majority tribes or let's say I'm just from the most like my tribe i can describe as one of the most like the most unpopular in the world like the most unpopular tribe in nigeria i don't have any um it's just me and my truth okay so for those saying i did it i'm saying that because i'm being tribalistic mm -hmm. someone will still come and see that video someone come and ask me eh -heh, lillian what the people from this part of nigeria did to you I go answer you no worry after all the explanation i've given you know, someone will still ask me what did the people in that part of nigeria do to you wait for me i'll come and answer you okay get plain tired i won't even i won't even see that comments if you are my friend and you are offended by these videos i don't know what to say because already i've explained it there i've explained it in these videos it's not about where the people are from 
it is about their opinion that i don't agree with okay i know i, I know i agree yeah when they bring up something i agree with i go agree with mm -hmm. but when they bring up something that i don't agree with I, it doesn't matter if anybody thinks i'm being tribalistic it's fine i'm not yoruba i'm not outside i'm not Igbo. so which side am i i'm just no way i'm just a nigerian ask me truth be told so so if you want to see the full video you can head to Kemi's page i'm going to tag her in this video and thank you for watching this one i'll see you in my next one bye thank you